Hey, thanks for checking out the channel. My name is Chuck. This is Hardly Homesteading, where we learn what it takes to become a homesteader and break free from the shackles of the 9 to 5. Uh, big thanks to everybody that's returning to the channel. Um, your uh, support means a lot. So over the last few weeks, I've been uh, dealing with some bouts of uh, what I'm assuming is seasonal depression, sort of the uh, ebb and flow of that. And it's, uh, it's sort of made... Uh, the video production um, a little bit more difficult but I'm pushing through it and uh, I've been uh, listening to this podcast recently that talked about how uh, happiness is basically you have to be happy first we are all taught that uh, you know you work hard you go to college you get a good job and uh, you save up money, and then all of that stuff is what creates happiness. But what they were saying in this podcast was that basically you have to convince yourself that you're happy to begin with. You have to wake up in the morning with a positive attitude and a sense of gratitude in everything that you do. And that in turn will uh, produce a pattern of happiness and it's those things that make you a better person to be around which in turn will help you get the uh, promotion at work and make better life choices you know when you're uh, depressed or down on yourself your your eating habits change people don't want, really want to be around you because you're uh, cranky or uh, you know just not fun to be around and so uh, I thought that uh, podcast made a lot of sense so that's something that I'm going to incorporate into my life and also into uh, this channel I think it's going to be the uh, new format I'm going to go with and I've experimented with a lot of different formats but I uh, think I'm going to go in this direction and so basically all it is is just reminding yourself that uh, you're grateful for something and something makes you happy you know telling yourself that every single day and it can just be one thing you know so as an example today I'm reminding myself that I am grateful for having a steady income it allows me to pursue things that I'm interested in um, like this channel like uh, you know being on this path to homesteading um, as well as my other hobbies and interests like uh, music and art and things like that um, and then the other thing is uh, what makes you happy and it doesn't have to be some big grand thing just something very simple uh, today mine is the smell of coffee uh, seems a little silly I guess but uh, smells really tend to do it for me they just uh, kind of get something working in my brain and uh, the smell of coffee beans is what makes me happy is a thing a little thing that makes me happy um, for you it could be anything it could be hot shower in the morning it could be uh, the smell of wet grass it could be anything and uh, basically uh, this channel is going to help me journal that and uh, hopefully I can uh, inspire others to start their day out the same way because I really think that it's at least in theory it sounds like it's uh, it's uh, beneficial and uh, I think it'll help me out and I think it'll help you out too. But uh, in other news, speaking of uh, you know the world kicking me in the nuts, uh, my workshop shed was broken into. Uh, this is how I have rigged it up so that it cannot be broken into again. Uh, I made a little video yesterday, but I decided to cut that video and use this one instead I didn't really go over much in that anyways I 
it showed what it looked like when it hadn't been fixed, quote unquote fixed. Um, I think, you know, somebody could break into it again with the way it is, but uh, they'd have to put in quite a bit of effort and it would make quite a bit of noise. Um, but the thing that I'm thankful for is that uh, whoever broke into it didn't steal anything. They did, however, unscrew my miter saw from the table. So I'm assuming they were hoping that I wouldn't notice the window was broken and they were going to come back and grab the miter saw when they had a vehicle or something. Uh, but they didn't take anything else, probably because all my tools are cheap Harbor Freight tools that they probably couldn't even pawn. So uh, if you're uh, thinking about buying tools, try to go, go the Harbor Freight route. You'll uh, save money and nobody will uh, want to steal them. <laughs> so. Uh, if they did take anything, uh, whatever they took, I uh, must not have cared about it much because I didn't notice. So, kids' bikes and everything is in there. So, I secured the uh, garage yesterday. So, we should be good on that. Uh, I do have quite a few projects that I want to be working on, but um, I have a birthday party to go to today, right in the middle of the day. So, it kind of puts a damper on getting into anything big. Uh, the main thing I wanted to do this weekend though is get some more masonry blocks uh, like these ones and I want to sit them right here next to right here next to the vermi composting bin because this window on the inside is where my aquarium is and I was wanting to use another 55 gallon barrel but uh, my supply of those ran dry so, um, yeah, I'm going to stack up some of those uh, masonry blocks and I'm going to get a trash can. I saw they had them at Walmart for 10 bucks. These, uh, I think they're like 35 gallon, um, 35 gallon trash cans. And so I'm going to, I have the nozzle already, so I'm going to install the nozzle on it, sit it up there. And uh, so I can drain all my at least half of the aquarium water will fit in it that and i can take all the filter media out of my aquarium uh, filter and i can let it wring it all out in there and get all that beneficial bacteria and stuff from the uh, aquarium in there so i can use that to water my um, garden so uh, it has been a long time since i've cleaned out my aquarium but uh, i mean it's an ecosystem there's a lot of uh, green hair algae in there. Anybody who has an aquarium knows that green hair algae is a sign of a healthy aquarium. So um, basically all that algae in there is hanging out in the water column, collecting all of the bacteria and stuff in there and maintaining the health of my aquarium right now. But that's no excuse. <laughs> uh, I should be I should be doing water changes and I haven't been because I've been focusing on the homesteading stuff and uh, other things like that. So, um, you know, you're supposed to do like weekly water changes and a big one every month. So, uh, you know, with the putting the garden together and using it for that, that I think will be motivation for me to uh, start doing more regular water changes. But I will only be able to hold 35 gallons and so, you know, we will uh, figure it out. Um, could always put a second trash can there, I guess, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, in other news, we have the uh, compost that never heated up again. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a uh, sifter out of some hardware cloth, and uh, me and Dylan will uh, sift out all the fine particulate, and uh, I'll use that for the garden bed up front, and. Uh, the bigger stuff that's left over will go in the, the new compost bin. So I've been adding stuff to that now for the last couple weeks. Um, there's a lot of high nitrogen stuff in there as well as, uh, you know, like uh, rabbit droppings and all that stuff. So um, hopefully this compost will, uh, you know, be a little smoother now that I've, you know, I've learned from this one. Um, we're figuring it out, but, uh, and then the other project that I have on my mind is what I mentioned in the last video, and that is doing 
all of these worm towers in each of my uh, doing all these worm towers in each of my beds um, so for that I just need to buy some PVC pipe and chop them up drill the holes and uh, that's it I got it's like there's grass growing grass growing in my garden beds already I don't know if that was from mixing it up in the yard and now there's yeah there's in almost every single one of them there's looks like grass or some kind of weed or something huh it's got a seed on the end I have no idea what this is um, if you have any ideas let me know down in the comment section below I'm assuming it's just a spore that blew off a tree or something and landed in there I don't know but that seems like that might be a problem uh, if you guys know of any way to prevent against this or uh, anything like that let me know down in the comment section below yeah these things are uh, in there I don't know uh, I also need to mow the yard for the first time in the season it's uh the backyard looks fine but the front yard is getting uh grass is getting pretty tall i need to get a weed eater so i can go around all of the garden beds and uh but other than that that's pretty much it we still need to fill the garden bed in the front i'm sort of uh holding that off we got a little bit of a vacation coming up me and the girlfriend are going to go to washington and uh hike around Mount Rainier, uh, Rainier, Mount Rainier, um, and do some other stuff uh, outside of Seattle. So kind of been saving up money for that, but uh, yeah, so I need to fill this garden bed still. And uh, yeah, so we got quite a bit of stuff to do. Uh, it's just a matter of picking myself up out of this slump and just uh doing it because uh you know i can work on these things during the week too it's just as i'm sure a lot of you know you get into those you know a mood it's just it's so hard to pull out that motivation and uh do the things that you want to do um you know a lot of people struggle to do the things that they need to do let alone additional you know stuff that they want to do but uh yeah so that's where we are whatever things i get to this weekend i will include in this video but uh if you guys have any questions comments concerns you want to share your own opinions on this subject matter go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below i would love to hear what you have to say again big thanks to everybody that's supporting the channel people who keep coming back and watching all the videos that is a uh big boost to uh you know my uh self-esteem with this i guess um so i really appreciate it um keep coming back keep watching the videos you guys are awesome and uh yeah thanks for watching